Both the review site and the store site have identical copies of these image files. We'd like to make a shared library for these images that both apps can access. We'll use NX to generate a workspace library named assets in the shared directory. Let's take these image files and move them to the library. Now we can delete the duplicate images from the review app. And we need to update the workspace.json file to tell each app where to find these assets. Under the build command, there's an assets option where you can list where assets come from. Since our shared assets folder is outside of the root directory of this app, we need to use a custom object notation rather than a string. We give it an input property with the path to the assets, a glob to say which assets we're referencing, and an output to say where these assets will be copied to. Then we'll take the same object and add it to the store app configuration. Now the store has access to the images, and so does the review site. Now if we look at the dependency graph, you'll see that the shared assets library has no connections to any other libraries or apps. That's because there are no TypeScript imports that reference this library. So we need to manually add these dependencies ourselves. We do that by going to the nx.json file, and under the review app, we'll add an implicit dependencies property, and we'll add the shared assets library. We'll do the same thing for the store app. And now when we run dependency graph again, you'll see that shared assets is depended on by both the store app and the review app. It can also be useful to set up restrictions on which kinds of libraries can depend on which other kinds of libraries. For instance, a UI library with only presentational components should never depend on a data access library. NX can help enforce these rules by using tags and lint rules. We'll add type UI to each UI library and type data access to each data access library. We'll also add type feature and type util tags. Now we'll configure these rules in the tslint.json file. The default rule says that a library with any tag can depend on any other library. We'll add another restriction that says the type UI library can depend on only type util libraries. Now if we go to the shared UI tile library and try to import something from a data access library, we get this lint error saying that a project tagged with type UI can only depend on libraries tagged with type util. Tagging projects by type is only one example of what you can do with these tags. You could tag a library by project or by team that's working on it, anything that makes sense for your organization. And by making these conventions explicit in the code, you're ensuring that no one accidentally does the wrong thing. 